Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is a guide for the second Outbreak main quest easter egg. This one focuses more so on Ravanov compared to the first, which focused on Maxis and led to that big Elysian boss fight. Link to that easter egg guide in the description down below. This egg is much more straightforward. It doesn't end in a boss fight and is just not complicated at all. So I'm going to run rapid fire through these steps because there's really no need to draw it out. Firstly, you need to get to World Tier 3. Once you're there, you need to find a red portal and I'm going to show you the locations on all the maps for those portals now. On Ruko, we're going to be going here and it's inside a little house. On Alpine, we're going to be going here on a cliffside kind of area. On Dugo, we're going to be going down into the bunker where the crafting bench is at the top, and it's going to be here. On Zoo, this is where the red portal is going to be spawning in in your game. And finally, on Galova, this is the red portal spawn in a location. Now, bear in mind, Treyarch is going to keep adding new Outbreak maps. So if I've not listed your map in this list, you'll need to go down to the description of this video, and I'll have a picture showing you exactly where the red portal location is on your new map. Alternatively, if you can't find what you're looking for here, go to the next map in your game, the next world tier, and you'll be just fine on that next one. When you find it, jump into it, and it will teleport you up above the world, and you'll then see another red portal in the distance that you need to float down into. Make sure that you don't miss it, of course. Use your parachute wisely. You've got plenty of time, so don't panic. And when you go to the next red portal, it will teleport you back up again, and you need to do this three times. After the third one, you'll get teleported up again, but an item will drop out in front of you, and you need to drop down, follow its trajectory, and then pick it up off the floor. Then finish your main quest objective on World Tier 3 and go to where the anomaly has spawned in and spawn in your beacon. You can use the beacon to call Ravanov just like we called Maxis in the previous Easter egg. And when you've done that, you can then teleport to the next world and you'll go to Sanatorium. Once you're there, run over to this crashed helicopter and clear out all the zombies around it. This will take like a minute or so and then interact with the radio that's hanging out of the chopper and you'll hear a message play. You then need to find an ethereal orb of energy around the map on Sanatorium and I'll show you spawn locations now. For reference, it looks like this, and it can spawn in a bunch of different spots, but here are a few. One location is just here. As you can see, it's on top of the bathhouse, and you can get there by climbing on the door if you want to. Another possible spawn is inside the sanatorium pool itself, so kind of go up into the building and then drop down into the pool, and you can find it in that room. And there's another orb spawn way up in the corner of the map up here, so you want to come into this area and have a look around for it just there. And listen as well, obviously, because you can hear it. And if you can't find it in these spots that I'm mentioning, by the way, I'll have extra spots in the description that you can check as well. Once you find the orb, you need to shoot at it, but you need to shoot it in the direction of the bridge on the map. So go on the opposite side of it to where the bridge is and shoot it into that direction. It'll fly off and then pause in another location. You can just follow it and then shoot it again towards the bridge. And once you've shot it enough times, it should then pause above the little buggy that is at the end of the bridge. You then need to find a bunny toy, which is going to go inside that buggy. And this is found at a mystery box location. But it's not just the active box spawn, it's actually going to be a different version of it, which is like broken and the bunny's going to be sitting on top. So run around the map and check out the box spawn locations. And of course, once again, I'll show you a bunch of those spawns now. One spawn location is just here on the roof of the sanatorium, as you can see. Another possible box spawn location is just here by this kind of black box, I guess, on the map. I think it's like a car park or something. Another box spawn location is just here, as you can see. And remember, any issues, just head down to the description or the comment section, and I'll have more screenshots there as well. Once you find the bunny, hold square on it, and it will start a little sequence where a load of zombies will spawn in, take them down, defend the bunny, and after about 30 seconds or so, it will return to the ground, and you'll be able to pick the bunny up. You simply need to run it over to the buggy and put it inside, like I originally mentioned, and then your team is going to be ready to do a little escort step, so everyone's going to have to come to that little rover buggy thing and walk with it as it moves across the bridge inside a little bubble and it moves over to a new location of the map. This is probably one of the hardest parts of the egg actually, so just make sure you can kill the zombies and take them down effectively. You also might want to grab a score streak like a chopper gunner because that's going to be handy at the end here. But you escort the buggy, the rover, whatever you want to call it, it keeps moving and then eventually it will stop and the zombies will all disappear and you'll be able to run forwards and up into the building in front of you, which features a little radio that you're going to need to interact with in order to get some quotes to play and once all of those quotes are done and out of the way and you've done that interaction, you'll then have an exfil site spawn in and you need to run over to that and just do an exfil as normal. However, the quirk is that an order is going to be there as well for the exfil, so I recommend you focus your firepower on the order, including your chopper gunner if you've got one, and then once the order is kind of taken care of, you can get rid of all the zombies. Personally, that's how I find this to be most easy, but your mileage may vary. Do it how you feel comfortable with. And once you've taken out all the zombies and you've taken out the order, you just hop on the chopper and that's it. You've done the egg. I 
told you it was straightforward, but if you want more of a challenge, go ahead and pick from one of my other no-nonsense guides listed in the description down below. Hell, you can even go back and play some BO3 eggs. I've got plenty of guides for all of those. They're all linked down there. I'll see you on one of those videos. Bye for now.